Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another weekly vlog. We've got some really fun stuff going around here this weekend, and we're really excited that you're here to join us. If you're new around here, we vlog quite a few different things. We do everything from weekly vlogs to Disney vlogs to cooking vlogs to other fun vlogs, and we are really excited that you are here. If you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button, click that like button if you like what we're doing, and that bell notification so that you can be notified every time we release a video. I just finished some yoga to kind of stretch out. I'm super sore. My hips are hurting really bad, so I've got big runs in the middle of big running situation. So I'm just trying to stay a little limber if I can. Don't mind the closet. There we go. <laughs> I'm up in my office, so we just have some fun work stuff going on today. And then of course the dopey challenges this weekend. So we're really excited that you're here and we can't wait to take you along with us. So welcome to another weekly vlog. Let's jump right in. My parents house we're gonna help my mom do a couple of things and Bryson's gonna go fix this fence post real quick <laughs> and the dogs are gonna play and it's a beautiful fall day so we're just over here gonna have a little bit of family time we haven't seen our families um, since we got back from Florida but it's been just about two weeks so here we are isn't that the most beautiful tree every fall that tree is just so gorgeous the other side of it's yellow yeah. So pretty. So we took my dad's ATV while well, Aspen's doing branch manager duties, but we're this giant branch fell out of the top of this tree during the crazy winds we had last week. We're going to try to drag it out to the backfield if Aspen lets us, because she's not gonna want us to do that. got to my parents house it was blue sky and now this and this is not a storm this is smoke it's the same fire we've been talking about for two months we are back from my parents house and I just went and picked up the click list so we're gonna do another grocery haul here we go I got some spice cake mix because one of the most popular things on the interwebs in the last couple years are to use spice cake mix, a cup of chocolate chips, and a can of pumpkin and make muffins and call it healthy. And that's what we're going to do. I got some more grapes because I've been soaking them in lime juice and then rolling them in jello powder, jello sugar, jello crystals. And it makes a delicious sweet treat without being like really super unhealthy. I got this chapstick because I needed some new chapstick up in my office. We got some oat milk. We got some plain Greek yogurt because we're gonna try this pizza recipe that calls for Greek yogurt. We got some raspberries, some strawberries, some pomegranates, some passion fruit, and some kiwi because we're gonna make a tropical fruit pizza for our dinner with friends tomorrow night. Some pizza sauce for the pizzas we're gonna make next week. Some Rotel black beans and corn for burrito bowls we're gonna do. Cream cheese, this is for the fruit pizza. Blue cheese is for my pizza that we're gonna make next week. We're each, we each make a pizza. I'm gonna put blue cheese on mine. Cookie dough because I'm lazy and running a half marathon tomorrow and I don't wanna make my own cookie dough for the fruit pizza. Some eggs, some mozzarella. I'm not sure why we got two, but we'll eat it, so it's okay. Some carving board turkey. These go really good on salads. So we got some crispy dillies. Those are delicious. If you've never tried them, you totally should. Some crispy jalapenos. These are really spicy. And then I saw these and they were on sale. So I thought we'd give them a try. Some mozzarella for the pizza. This is a fig spread for the pizza I'm going to make for me. Mushrooms for Bryson's pizza. 
some chocolate chips because we were out, some lemon jello and cherry jello for the grape situation I was talking about earlier, some turkey pepperoni, mango for the fruit pizza, bananas, a pear for my pizza, some onions, a lemon, two apples, some avocado, some flowers, cause um, I bought some flowers last week and they died really fast. So usually we buy grocery store flowers and they last a really long time. So I'm hoping that these last a really long time. A cucumber because, so I'm gonna make some, it's called detox water, it's water. And then you put cucumber, strawberries, a lemon and cilantro in it. And I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna make that. We got some lotion because it's getting to be the really dry season here. And so we want to have a lotion downstairs and then also a lotion upstairs for our bathroom. Some of these pre-made salads, a chipotle cheddar and an avocado ranch. Some bell peppers for the pizza we're gonna make and then also for mornings for breakfast, some cilantro. Some spinach, some turkey bacon. The pizza that I was going to make is a fig and prosciutto pizza but I don't eat ham or I don't eat pork anymore so I got this turkey bacon and I'm gonna try it out. It's not gonna be the same but it'll be good. And then some Italian sausage for Bryson's pizza. So that is it for the grocery haul. Hope you enjoyed it. For dinner tonight, Bryson made Gallup Carbonara Risotto from Home Chef. We've never had this before. It smells delicious. He did a really good job. So I can't wait to eat it. Bon appetit. Good morning. It is about 7 a.m. here in our home. Didn't really see y'all yesterday, so apologize. That dinner we had last night, though, the risotto, it was the first time I've made risotto from Home Chef. I was impressed. That was super easy. I was, like, terrified it was going to be hard, but it wasn't. So, delicious meal since we never signed off last night. Today, uh, not quite sure what we got going on. I'm going to turn on college game day, watch some college football, and make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make that breakfast quesadilla I made a few weeks ago. I don't know why, but sounds good today. Then tonight we are going over to our friends. Uh, you met Gina a few weeks ago in our weekly vlog. I think weekly vlog number three. So that was actually a few months ago. She has a blog called Our Pretty Life. Make sure you check that out. Not sure if we're gonna film over there or not yet, but anyway, we're going over there for dinner. So Crystal's gotta do her run. But yesterday the smoke from the fire we've been talking about for two months, it was just so intense. I mean, it's huge. It's now the largest fire in Colorado's history. So hopefully something happens with that because it is like starting to threaten some pretty big towns in the state now. The quality of air was pretty bad last night. So Crystal's probably gonna have to get her run in early and today is the half marathon for the Dopey Challenge. So I'll make sure to go find her and film her doing it so you can all see her and virtually cheer along with her as she does the virtual Dopey Challenge. So yeah, that's pretty much it right there. There's our day. Hopefully a few surprises pop up and we have some fun. Who knows? I'm gonna go make that breakfast quesadilla. It is Saturday and that means that it is day three of the virtual dopey challenge for me. I am doing the half marathon today. So I have goosebumps and I'm super nervous, um, but I don't really know why. It's no really, it's not really any different than what I've been doing on Saturdays for the last two months. I've been doing between 10 and 12, so it's only like a mile more. So it's really not that stressful, but I'm stressed. <laughs> uh, I've got my camel back on, I got my music ready. I took my pre-workout and I did my stretching because my hips have been hurting really bad. So my hips feel better today, knock on wood. And I'm ready for uh, what is hopefully going to be a good half to carry me into tomorrow for what I'm really concerned about, which is of course the full. So let's get started. All right, Crystal has sent the text. Chesney is ready to be picked up. So they're probably about three or four miles in. Aspen's ready to go get them. We gotta take Crystal a Gatorade. Fruit punch, this is like her favorite flavor. This is what like gets her by when she needs it. She says this is like her savior. So we're taking it to her. We got Gatorade, we got Aspen. Let's go pick up Chez. So how's it going? Good. Yeah? I'm just putting lotion on because it's dry and we live in a desert. <laughs> yeah. She asked me to bring her lotion because we're still like getting accustomed back to the dry weather in Colorado from Florida. Well like as fall and winter comes it gets drier. Super dry. So I was running and I was like, 
I need some lotion. <laughs> so, all right, so half marathon update. How far are you in? Three. Okay, how do you feel? I feel good. My hip doesn't hurt nearly as bad as yesterday. I don't have any wood to knock on, but. Okay. I'm knocking on my brain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, keep it up. Okay. All right. So we are doing a surprise drive-by. Crystal thinks we have gone home, but we have not. So we are going to sneak up on her, and we're going to cheer her on. You probably can't see her, but she's off over here to the right. So we'll see her right as we turn here by the stop sign. There she is. Go, go, go! See, even the dogs are cheering her on. Okay, we gotta go. I survived. <laughs> I just got back from my run. I did 13.1 miles, which is a half marathon. And I stretched a little bit and now I'm icing my hip and then I'm gonna heat. But while I ice, I'm going to clean the kitchen and I have to make a sugar cookie crust for our um, dessert tonight. We're going to our friend's house, so I have to do that. And like I said yesterday, I'm way too lazy this weekend to make my own sugar cookie crust from scratch, so I'm using Pillsbury. That's just what it is. This is a new fire that just started this morning. It just looks absolutely terrifying. I could see it when I was running, and I told Bryson, I was like, look west, look west. The fire's jumped, but it turns out this is a new fire. Oh man, it's just scary. Like, look how close that looks to us, and it's, I mean, it's really not that far. It's probably, like, not even an hour from us, but the wind is crazy today. So scary. I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. So, I'm, day three is done, so I finished the half. So, I've done a 5K, a 10K, and a half, and then tomorrow will be the full. Today started off really, really well. I felt pretty good. I was really excited because my hip, all week since last Sunday when I did my last 18-mile run, my hip has just been shooting pain every time I take a step and this morning I woke up and I feel like all the stretching all the heat all the ice all the everything I've been doing has really paid off I, I hardly had any pain I started to get a pain but it was a different pain it was like a dull pain like mile seven eight I mean it didn't start out that way so I can't really complain I will say I got really bored and I got really frustrated because of the monotony of my route that I'm doing and unfortunately tomorrow is even more monotony because <laughs> I'm doing a lot of laps around like the same things because that's just how the mileage works out because we live in the burbs so I'm not going to like, some crazy trail and I wish I was actually because I think it would make it more enjoyable but tomorrow will really just be pushing through and getting to the finish and hopefully my hip holds out until the end so that's the goal <laughs> so I just wanted to do a little update on that it's been a good few days I'm really glad that the pain is starting to subside I've been working really hard on my stretching and stuff so I hope that it stays through tomorrow and I hope that I can finish it out strong so that's just where we're at one more day full marathon to go so we are at our friend's house for dinner and Bryson is outside grilling the Ezekiel ribs with Gina's husband. And this is our fruit pizza for tonight. We went a little tropical. We've got some mango, some kiwi, some pomegranates, and then passion fruit. I'm so excited for this. Well, we just got back from our friend's house. It's about nine o'clock. Had a great dinner with them. It is about nine o'clock, like I said. So I am gonna head off for the night, get everything taken care of here that I need to, and I'm gonna head to bed. So I will see you tomorrow for another day. Good morning, it's Sunday, it's marathon day, it's freezing outside, yay. The weather has taken a drastic turn, which is great for the fires, bad for me. So <laughs> I guess I'll have to take one for the team. So it is not even 36 degrees outside right now, and it's raining. And so I'm going to be wearing pants, which I'm, I'm like a, I'm a weirdo. I do not run in pants. I only run in shorts. And right now it's too cold for even me to run in shorts. So um, I'm going to start in pants, but I'm going to show you all the things that I'm going to put in Bryson's truck on the hopeful chance that the weather turns and I can hop in his truck and hopefully put some shorts on at some point in this run. And then I'll show you everything else that I have ready and ready to go. Okay, so this is my Camelback. I have an extra pair of headphones. These are these... Um, goo chews. I have a pack of those. I have some chapstick and then in here I have a built bar. 
um, and some fun sized candy for some quick energy. I have a water bottle that I'm going to put in Bryson's. So this is going with me along with uh, the bladder that I'll fill with ice water. And then this is an extra bottle of water I'm going to put in Bryson's truck. Four Gatorades that he's going to bring me one at mile three when he comes and picks up the dogs. And then I'll probably hold on to it until like mile eight or so. And then I'll he'll probably bring me another one um, a few more times. So I'm going to put four total in the truck and we'll see. I know I'm going to need at least three, but I'm going to put an extra one in there just in case. I have a long sleeve shirt on and pants. And I'm going to put an extra long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt in the truck. And then I also have a pair of shorts that are over on the couch that I'm going to put in the truck. All of those in case this shirt gets too wet. I'm also going to put a banana in the truck. And I think that's it. I might put one more pack of goo chews in my bag. But that's really all I'm taking. So pretty minimalistic. But it, it, we did have to do some changes due to the weather that we didn't know was going to happen. So that's where we're at right now. So as Crystal told you, today is marathon day here in our household. It's going to be an intense one because as she said, the weather turned. It was like supposed to be 75 degrees today is what the weather channel said. And now it's like... 38 degrees and drizzly, which is great for the fires. Just not fun for her to run a marathon in. She was already struggling mentally with having to run it by herself. So today's going to be a lot of me in the truck driving by, cheering her on. She showed you all the stuff that she wants me to bring to her. I'll do whatever. I mean, the fact that she's running 26 miles for a charity for my stepmother is phenomenal. I respect her so much for that even more than just because she's my wife and she's doing it. The fact she decided to do this by herself when she could have just gave up speaks to the quality of woman my wife is. If you guys want to hear the story about why she's running for my stepmother, um, I'll put a link down below in this video for her fundraising page. Um, tells the whole story about why she's doing it. So great thing. But I'm going to head out. I'm going to go pick up the dogs, check in on her, take her Gatorades, Whatever it is she needs, banana, whatever. 26 miles in cold rain, she gets whatever she wants for lunch today. So far, we are driving around here doing a surprise cheering session for Crystal. Trying to find her. Just driving around, listening to the Bronco game. Dogs got their heads out the window, loving life. She should be around here somewhere. Coming down this street right here. This is where she should be. Oh, there she is, right there. We found her. There she goes. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, she needs something. How you doing? Hi. Hi. It's a great thing when you think you're at 10 miles and you look and you're at 13 and a half. That's amazing. She's having some Gatorade. How's the hip? It's all right. I think that the cold has numbed it. Okay. So. All right. Crystal is off on her marathon. She's finishing up at the lake we walk around. So that's where she told me to pick her up. But right now, every time she does a marathon or a half marathon or any long run, she craves salt. So it's like kind of a congratulations. I'm trying to run over to the grocery store before she finishes because I'm gonna pick up some like chips and guac, like those soft super pretzels, because they're salty. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get over there, get back before I have to go pick her up. I finished and un my goal was five and a half, 5.30 because I thought that I would probably need to add some extra time because of doing it by myself and also doing it in the cold and all of that stuff. So I ended up finishing in I think like 5.15, I think is what I said, really excited. I finished, I had a friend come and do the last five miles with me which was a lifesaver and Bryson brought me all the Gatorades and ibuprofen and a change of clothes. It was just, I'm really glad it's over. I'm exhausted. I'm starting to get really sore and we're going to get donuts and coffee. Bryson's gonna take me to Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna take a bath. So that's what's going on. It's been a glorious day. <laughs> And the Broncos won! The Broncos did win. Yeah, I didn't see any of the game. But when I got home, Bryson told me that the Broncos won. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you for your kind comments and your kind words and 
your encouragement and thank you for donating to our fundraiser if you did also if you would like to it is still open so we will leave that link down below so make sure to check it out I did dopey challenge this year for the multiple sclerosis Association of America you can read all about our family's um, story and why we why I decided to run for MS um, for dopey challenge and so be sure to check that out all right let's go get donuts so we went to Duncan and I got this and it's a large original blend with four pumps of caramel swirl and three pumps of blueberry and oat milk and it tastes exactly like a blueberry muffin. Somebody on our Disney Instagram posted this on their story or on their profile when we were in Disney and I was like when we get back I need to try this and so now I've tried it so if that was you definitely leave a comment down below because you're the original genius behind this but it's delicious perfect so for dinner this evening I made cheddar ranch enchiladas from home chef there you see them we added a little bit of pepper jack to them as well just because there wasn't much cheddar so it's on top with a buffalo crema and some green onions super simple dish made it probably in about 35 40 minutes and now we're ready to eat so okay. good morning happy monday it is the day after the marathon <laughs> my hair looks like i ran a marathon i just made some coffee and some soup for breakfast <laughs> It's uh, just like a normal day around here. Both of us are working. Um, I woke up around three o'clock this morning and um, my hip just hurt really bad and my knee hurt really bad. So I got up and iced and did some heating. So I just laid on the couch uh, until about eight o'clock when I went and started to do some work. So it's just a normal day around here. We got to run to the post office at some point. I want to go tanning and I'll probably just do some yoga and maybe a little biking downstairs in the basement today to kind of make sure I'm keeping moving. So that's really all we got going on around here today, <laughs> but it was an exciting weekend. So we're just kind of laying low. It's also pretty gloomy out, but it is supposed to be nice today. It's supposed to be about 70. So maybe I'll go do some work outside this afternoon and I need to finish planting my bulbs. I still haven't done that. So that's kind of on my agenda. Hopefully I'll get to do that today, but otherwise happy Monday. So the weirdness of this NFL season continues. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. And all of a sudden I got a text message from one of my buddies that there's a game on. Sure enough, there is an NFL game on at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. Never seen it, but I will gladly watch it. Come on. Get in the truck. We have a package at the post office. So we're going to pick it up. I'm really excited. I've been wanting this for weeks now and she's always sold out of it. And so we just got, on Friday, I got a notification that she had restocked this particular item and it's back and I got one and it's here. On Monday. On Monday, yeah. I just ordered it on Friday. That's very quick. This is what I got. This is from a shop called Shimmer Pop Shop on Etsy and it's the stretching room characters in the fab five form is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen every time she posts these they sell out like that but i got one i love it oh i'm so excited this one's my favorite this one and then um i like the goofy one too aren't these so cute for dinner tonight, we are doing tandoori chicken. This is something we've not done before, um, and it looks really good. So I'm excited to give it a try. It says super easy. Well, it says easy. I added the super part, but it should be good. So dinner tonight is done. Like I said, this is a curry. It's a tandoori chicken, so it's a curry chicken with cilantro and slaw rice. So not our normal situation, but I'm excited. I love curry, so I'm excited. I hope this turns out well. So I was watching this gathered nest the other day and she reminded me about the super simple pumpkin muffins that are three ingredients and super delicious. So it's a box of spice cake mix, a 15 ounce can of pumpkin, and then chocolate chips. You can use white chocolate chips too. I've done that and it's really good. And you bake it at 350 for like 15 to 20 minutes and they're delicious. 
So I'm gonna make some. You should make some because they're really, really good and super, super simple. Just pulled the muffins out of the oven and they look perfect. So simple. Doesn't get any more simple and it smells delicious in here. So it is about 10 o'clock here. We just got done watching the second Monday night football game. As I told you earlier, there was a very early Monday night football game. Chiefs and Bills, and that game was really good. I enjoyed that game. For the Cowboys fans out there, I'm sorry. That was not a very good game. That, that was tough for you guys. Yeah. But that is going to do it for today. I'm going to head to bed. So we will see you all tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is about 10 a.m. here in our house. Been working for a while. Crystal's upstairs working in her office. Tuesday morning, so normal work day. One thing I wanted to show you though, I got a new shirt. It's The Rescuers. One of our favorite movies. We watch it on the Disney Cruise Line. We watch it at home, but we started watching it on the Disney Cruise Line. So when I saw this shirt at Disney, I had to get it. Crystal actually has a whole blog post all about the new Rescuers merchandise that Disney's put out and where you can get it. So we'll link that down below. Also, something else I gotta show you. So last night, Crystal was talking about these pumpkin muffins she made. So I had one this morning for breakfast. They are amazing. The chocolate chips are perfect. And the fact that like these only have three ingredients or something like that, she told me, they're amazing. So definitely go back if you don't remember, listen to what she said and make these muffins because they are delicious. And I, in fact, I'm gonna have another one right now. So today is one of those days where I just need to get out of the house. Go do something. It was just one of those days where like work was frustrating. So, you know, we're getting out of here. Crystal's too busy at work right now to take a break. So she's still upstairs in her office. So Aspen is right here. Hi Aspen, where are we going? We're going to Starbucks. We're gonna go get me a pumpkin spice cold brew and Chesney's over here too. She's looking out the window. We're gonna get them a puppuccino. So let's go to Starbucks. So we might end up regretting this because I just looked at the clock and this is usually when school gets out. And there's the line. Oh, like I said, I wanted to get out of the house. So let's see how long this takes. Sorry about that, we gonna get started for you today. Yeah, can I get a venti pumpkin cream cold brew, please? No problem, what else for you? Uh, two puppuccinos, that's it. Gotcha, I'll see you here. Thank you. So I got my pumpkin cream cold brew, can't wait. And we got two puppuccinos for the dogs. So we're gonna head home, have those. And the guy said that he really liked my rescuers t-shirt I showed you this morning. So that's awesome. And he told the dogs they were really cute. So now their egos are even bigger than normal. Let's head home so I can enjoy my pumpkin cream cold brew. So tonight we have a one pot creamy chicken chowder. It was really simple. It only took me like a half hour and it looks really good. It's like, it was supposed to be in the seventies today. I don't think it got above like 60 and it's cloudy and smoky. So soup sounds really good. So we are going to enjoy this and watch some YouTube. It's that time of the year. We got to start getting the Christmas ears ready for the Etsy shop. We got three different fabrics. I was also fixing some ears that needed to be fixed. Of her own. Yeah, those are I own those are mine. But we have three different fabrics this year for the shop. Yep, so make sure you pay attention to all of our social medias and our vlogs, because as soon as they're ready to launch, you'll be the first to know. And Chesney's back there sleeping on her toys. <laughs> Alright guys, well I am going to continue to work on some Etsy as I'm getting ready to launch some Christmas designs and we're just watching some YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this weekly vlog. If you liked this vlog, we would love if you would go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, please be sure that you subscribe to our channel and also click that bell notification so that you can be notified every time we release a video. We have some really fun content that's continuing to come out, including more from our recent Disney trip and also some fun holiday stuff that will be coming around the corner. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you are not getting enough Disney content, be sure you head over to our blog for theloveofthemouse.com and check out all of our Disney and travel content over there. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and we will see you on the next weekly vlog. For the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need the